The journey into the digital unknown starts right here. Real tech, real talk. Hey, tech enthusiasts. Have you ever wondered what's going on inside that sleek little SSD powering your laptop, gaming console, or smartphone? It's like a tiny superhero, silently storing your photos, games, and work files at lightning speed. But how does it actually work? How does it save your data and pull it back up in a flash? Today, we're taking you on a deep dive into the fascinating world of SSDs, solid-state drives, and uncovering 7 key ways they store and retrieve your data. Whether you're a tech newbie or a seasoned geek, this journey will blow your mind and make you appreciate the magic inside your device. So, grab a drink, get comfy, and let's unlock the secrets of your SSD. You're not going to want to miss this. Imagine your SSD as a massive digital library, where every book is a piece of your data, your favorite playlist, that work presentation, or your gaming save files. At the core of this library is something called flash memory, the technology that makes SSDs so fast and reliable. Unlike old-school hard drives with spinning disks, SSDs use flash memory chips that store data electronically, kind of like a super-organized filing cabinet that never forgets where anything is. These chips are made up of tiny cells that hold electrical charges to represent your data as ones and zeros, the binary language of computers. When you save a file, the SSD writes those charges into specific cells, locking your data in place without any moving parts. This is why SSDs are so much faster than traditional hard drives, there's no waiting for a disk to spin or a needle to move. Plus, flash memory doesn't lose data when you shut off your device, so your files stay safe even during a power outage. Whether it's a photo from your last vacation or a massive video project, flash memory ensures your data is stored securely and ready to access in a split second. Now, let's zoom in closer to see where your data actually hangs out inside an SSD. Those flash memory chips are built from something called NAND cells, tiny electronic storage units that act like little containers for your data. Think of them as millions of microscopic lockers, each holding a piece of your files. There are different types of NAND cells, SLC, MLC, TLC, and QLC, each storing a different number of bits per cell, which affects speed and durability. When you save a document, the SSD breaks it into tiny chunks and assigns each chunk to a specific NAND cell, carefully organizing them so they can be found later. This process is lightning fast because the SSD's controller, a sort of brain, knows exactly which locker holds what. When you want to open that document, the controller retrieves those chunks and reassembles them in a flash. It's like having a super smart librarian who can find any book in a massive library in milliseconds. This setup makes SSDs not only fast but also super efficient at keeping your data safe and accessible. Every SSD has a secret weapon, the controller, a tiny chip that acts like the brain of the operation. Imagine it as a traffic cop directing cars in a busy city, making sure everything moves smoothly. When you save a file, the controller decides where to store it in the NAND cells, spreading the data across different parts of the SSD to balance wear and tear, a process called wear leveling. This ensures no single cell gets overused, keeping your SSD healthy for years. When you want to retrieve a file, the controller quickly locates the right cells, pulls the data, and sends it to your computer's processor. It also handles error correction, making sure your data stays accurate even if a cell starts to wear out. Picture the controller as a master chef, juggling multiple ingredients to whip up your favorite dish without missing a beat. Without this clever chip, your SSD wouldn't be able to store or retrieve data nearly as fast or reliably, making it the unsung hero of your drive. Let's get into the nitty-gritty of how your SSD actually saves and retrieves your data. When you hit save on a file, the SSD performs a write operation, converting your data into electrical charges and storing them in those NAND cells. It's like writing a note and tucking it into a specific drawer in a filing cabinet. The controller makes sure the data is written efficiently, often compressing it or spreading it across multiple cells to optimize space. When you want to open that file, the SSD does a read operation, pulling the charges from the cells and translating them back into your data, like grabbing that note from the drawer and reading it. These operations happen in microseconds, which is why your SSD feels so snappy compared to older hard drives. The cool part? SSDs can handle multiple read and write requests at once, 
so you can open a game, stream music, and save a document without your system slowing down. It's like a super efficient multitasking wizard, making sure your data is always ready when you need it. Over time, your SSD can get a bit cluttered, like a desk piled with papers from old projects. That's where Trim comes in, a clever feature that keeps your SSD running at peak performance. When you delete a file, your computer doesn't actually erase the data from the NAND cells, it just marks those cells as available for future use. Without Trim, those marked cells can slow down write operations, because the SSD has to clear them out before saving new data. Trim is like a janitor who sweeps through and tells the SSD which cells are truly empty, so it can write new data without delay. This process happens in the background, ensuring your SSD stays fast even after years of use. For example, when you delete old photos to free up space, Trim makes sure those cells are ready for new data, keeping your drive as zippy as the day you bought it. It's a behind-the-scenes hero that ensures your SSD can store and retrieve data without ever slowing down. Ever wonder why your SSD feels like it's reading your mind, pulling up files before you even finish clicking? That's thanks to the cache, a high-speed memory buffer that gives your SSD a turbo boost. Think of the cache as a temporary holding area, like a notepad where the SSD jots down data it's working with. When you save a file, the data goes to the cache first, allowing the SSD to write it to the NAND cells more efficiently. When you open a file, the SSD often preloads frequently used data into the cache, so it's ready to go in an instant. For example, if you're editing a video, the cache helps the SSD quickly access the clips you're working on, making the process buttery smooth. Some SSDs use DROM as cache for even faster performance, while others use a portion of the NAND itself. Either way, the cache is like a pit stop in a race, helping your SSD speed through data storage and retrieval without breaking a sweat. Your SSD doesn't just store and retrieve data, it goes the extra mile to make sure that data stays accurate and uncorrupted. This is where error correction comes in, a system that acts like a proofreader for your files. Every time you save or open a file, the SSD's controller uses algorithms to check for errors in the data, like a librarian double-checking that a book's pages are in order. If a NAND cell starts to wear out or a cosmic ray, yes, really, causes a glitch, the error correction system steps in to fix it, ensuring your files don't get garbled. For example, if you're saving a family video, the SSD checks that every frame is stored correctly, so you don't end up with a corrupted file. This process happens silently in the background, so you never notice it, but it's critical for keeping your data safe over time. Without error correction, your SSD would be like a library with missing pages, but with it, your data stays pristine, no matter how often you access it. Alright, let's wrap this up. Your SSD is a marvel of modern tech, working tirelessly to store and retrieve your data with speed and precision. From the flash memory that holds your files to the controller that directs the show, the NAND cells that act as tiny lockers, the write and read operations that make data flow, the trim feature that keeps things speedy, the cache that gives a turbo boost, and the error correction that ensures accuracy, every part of your SSD works together like a well-oiled machine. Next time you boot up your computer in seconds or open a massive file in a flash, you'll know the incredible tech making it happen. So, what did you think of this deep dive? Are you amazed by how much goes on inside your SSD? Drop a like if you learned something new, and share this with a friend who's curious about tech. And hey, let me know in the comments, what's one thing you love about your SSD, or what tech topic should we explore next? I can't wait to hear from you. Until then, keep geeking out and stay curious. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated with our latest content.